I'm going to talk a little bit about the HBCUs as I understand the state of the uh, art departments in most of the HBCU schools. Uh, I find, found as we moved around from campus to campus that we have some very strong professors in these departments. We have some leadership is there uh, to a large extent the support by the um, by the administration hasn't been as good as what it could have been. Uh, there are some uh, excellent galleries, uh, places like um, North Carolina A&T has an excellent gallery with a gallery director, an excellent collection there. Uh, we went to Clapham College in Orangeburg, South Carolina, had some excellent professors and leadership down there with Dr. Herman Keith. Uh, and uh, this is where uh, Dr. Leo Twiggs was at that, and the planetarium was over uh, uh, at, there in Orangeburg. So we have some very strong uh, um, um, administrative um, uh, leadership in the art departments. Uh, many of them lack the facilities and the um, uh, uh, supplies that they can be uh, have to expand their departments or scholarships. And um, when I was in, in Madison, uh, there was no problem with that, with with, with, with financial uh, aspect of it. But uh, with uh, HBCUs, uh, they're sometimes they're cutting back now on faculty. They're getting, uh, making the hours uh, increase the number of hours you have to teach there, but uh, they are not uh, working as diligently as they can to help the professors in the creative sense. So to a large extent, this is where the National Alliance of Artists from Historically Black Colleges plays a good role because we're able to give them that outlet they need to support uh, their art and to give them identification for their students uh, their students can go forth and uh, and become members of the organization and to look at the possibilities where they can expand their creative minds to a large extent and to reach out to other students from other areas.